During the pandemic, it wreaked havoc on us and we had a shortage of positions, as we all know. And one of them are for those who cleaned the bus, the CSAs. But out of a challenge emerged an opportunity, not just for the city of Detroit, but for those seeking refuge from their war-torn countries. That reason we left Afghanistan and it came here. Seeking safety and a new way of life also meant finding the security of employment. As the city searched for workers for DDOT, they found a group of people waiting to be hired. It's a big opportunity for me to join, like uh, to work with uh, the municipality of Detroit. So we had an opportunity uh, from the individuals that came here from Afghanistan and we created a position within the CSAs in order for them to work. Ahmad is just one of the many refugees living in Metro Detroit and now working as a coach service attendant. We just cleaning the bus. I'm really happy to work with this company. As the U.S. continues to emerge out of COVID, sanitation is crucial, and these workers help to create a safe environment. Once we took the Detroiters and we put them together with our new Afghan employees, we like to refer to it as our new dream team. So far, the city has hired 28 refugees for departments that include DDOT and Department of Public Works. Right now, the CSAs currently make around $13 an hour, but that will soon go up to $15 an hour starting July 1st. City officials want to make it clear they're still in need of more coach service attendants and bus drivers. The city of Detroit is hiring and we give opportunities to all. For details on employment opportunities with the city of Detroit, go to fox2detroit.com. Will this lead to you becoming a bus driver? Do you want to drive the bus ultimately? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.